I'm now I'm here with Richard Irving from the engineering team. Now, Richard, every every month you and I get together to talk about the new features and what's going on with Xbox One, but today we're talking about a pretty big update coming down the pike. So this holiday, we're launching a completely redesigned experience for the Xbox One. The most important thing is it's fast. It's the thing that we've wanted to improve the most, getting into and out of games, uh, getting access to your friends and your parties, your game DVR clips, your screenshots, all of that great content that you're creating around your gaming experience, we just want that all to be very, very fast. So Richard, when I get this update later this year, when I boot up my console, what am I gonna see first? So the first thing that you're going to notice is your new home on Xbox One. And so you'll see this recently played area that shows all of the apps and games that I've been playing most recently. And as I go through this list, you'll see that we've added additional information to each of the games that you've been playing. Uh, so I can see here a link to the game hub, I can see an announcement that the game developer has made. So we're, we're allowing game developers uh, to make announcements and program directly to your home screen, as well as shortcuts to your most recently recorded game DVR clips, screenshots, uh, and even achievements that you've earned uh, to just give you one click uh, the ability to one click and share out to all of your friends on Xbox Live. Where did my pins go? Uh, well, so uh, remember your pins used to be to the left, mm -hmm. uh, and now you're just gonna scroll down through your recently played list, and once you get to the end of it, you'll see your pins right there on the bottom. What we were thinking about in the community area uh, was to make it uh, much easier and faster for you to connect with your friends, games, and the rest of the Xbox Live community at large. Uh, and so the first thing that you'll notice is that we've pulled the activity feed up to be right here as the centerpiece in the community area. And then over here on the uh, on this right-hand side, what's going on here? Uh, so this is the trending area, and this is where you'll see new video announcements, you'll see games that are trending on Xbox Live in the community, and you'll also see players that are accomplishing big things on Xbox Live. Richard, at the beginning, you were talking about speed and how important it is to gamers. And of course, the team did a lot of work to, to, to meet that goal. Tell me, tell me what you guys did. Uh, well, so the most noticeable thing uh, is this quick menu that we've created just to the left of home. Yeah, you can see it's brand new, a series of icons over here. Kind of quickly go through what, what's going on here. So if you uh, just go left from your, uh, your recent games and apps list, uh, you're going to see fast access to your friends list, uh, to a party if you're in one, your notifications, messages, uh, and even some settings that you want to adjust on the fly without having to go deep into the system. Now, it's really important because this actually goes right over a game when I'm, when I'm in a game, correct? That's right. So it's not just available on home. And what uh, and this is what's really cool about it uh, is when you're playing a game, you just double tap the Xbox button on your controller. And this is good. this quick menu is going to slide over on top of your game. It doesn't scale the game down. Uh, you just see your friends list. Uh, you can go through there, figure out who you want to invite to the party. Uh, one button press, the invite is set, the party is created, waiting for your friend to accept, uh, and it's all just very fast and easy to do. Richard, we've been hearing a lot about Windows 10 and Xbox over the past few months. How is Windows 10, how does that figure into this update? Uh, well, uh, we've been talking about since January uh, how Windows 10 is going to be made, is going to make gaming greater in a bunch of different scenarios. When you're on your PC, you get the Xbox app, uh, always running game DVR to record uh, great moments from the games that you play on your PC, as well as the ability to stream your games from your Xbox One uh, to your Windows 10 PC. So in the case of the console, uh, that, that's what's enabling these great updates uh, for fast access to your friends and your parties uh, and some of the other uh, enhancements that you're seeing in this update. A great example of this is Cortana. That's right. Uh, so Cortana is uh, this great personal digital assistant, and now uh, Xbox One is going to be made more intelligent with the help of Cortana. Richard, can you show us how it works? So Cortana makes it easier to interact with my friends on Xbox Live while I'm playing a game. Uh, so if I want to invite a friend to join my game, I can say, hey, Cortana, is Amanda online? And then Cortana shows me who's online. Looks like Amanda is online. Without having to leave my game. I can see how Cortana can really speed things up for me here, and I don't even have to pause the game. That's right. Hey, Cortana, start a party and invite Amanda. Sure, inviting Amanda to a party. You can use all the same voice commands that you use uh, on Xbox One today, but Cortana is going to make it more natural and easier to do more advanced things, like, hey, Cortana, record the last minute and share it to my activity feed. Record it. What would you like your message to say? Check this out. Sure. 
sharing your clip and message. Check this out. Share it, add more, or try again. Share it. You can see that Cortana enable, enables voice dictation, so you no longer need to type with the virtual keyboard. Uh, you can record clips, you can send messages, you can post to your activity feed, and so much more without pausing or leaving your game. That's really cool, Richard. What else should fans know about Cortana? Uh, I hope what you saw is that we've been focused on making Cortana a great experience for gaming and in your living room. Uh, Cortana adds a new level of intelligence to Xbox One and gets smarter the more you interact. There you have it. That's your first look at the new Xbox One experience coming very soon, right, Richard? That's right. We're really excited about it, and a lot of it is based on your feedback, so thank you very much for that. Richard, thanks for joining us today. Thanks for having me.